Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Jess Larry and Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Just want to tell you guys if you experience some uh, phone outage or your phone is not working, it is a huge outage across the country. So, uh, especially with AT and T, I know I have AT and T, and my phone is out right now. So. Yeah, call us right now and tell us if you're having any problems with your phone. No, shut up, man. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> shut up. All right, well, let's get to Jess with my mess. <laughs> Jess is real. 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 Jess is Mm-hmm. Um, she took the TikTok and did, she tells us how she met. They they met him online. Uh, she met him online. They met on two different apps, though, Facebook dating app and Hinge. And he had two different names on the profile. So she didn't realize that it was the same person in the beginning. But it was a running joke in their relationship because he actually did come clean about it to her. She didn't even notice that. So she already, like, I, I don't like to call women like dumb, but oh, it's boy. like, yo, how you, you didn't you even know that? You from Baltimore? Y'all call everybody dummy. No, we no, nah, but that's that's a good dummy. This was like dumb. Okay. Like how you <laughs> ain't even okay. know that the, the same guy you on both of these apps and the guy, the same guy, is on both of the apps. He just used a different name, different picture, and all that. But anyway, anyway, but she would know her husband, all right. Yeah, but this before they got married. Okay. Play number one. We met in March of 2020. Georgia got shut down, locked down um, two and a half weeks later. We got married January of 2021, and we were divorced August of 2021. So keep in mind that this story is spanning March of 2020 until about June of 2021. We met online. My tire blew on my way to our first date. And he met me at a gas station, fixed my tire, then took me to go get another tire paid for it and i just thought oh my god this is the beginning of a beautiful romantic story <laughs> by the way their first date was at cheesecake factory so she not one of them you know okay, okay about that you know what i'm saying um <laughs> so she also had said that they, that he had fake phone calls like he wasn't talking to nobody when he would act like he was talking like he was faking phone calls in front of her and why it, like the whole time play number two every morning he would get on the phone with his brother we'll call his brother john and he would be like hey babe um john said good morning and so i would just say hey john you know call out hey john and you know he would he would relay back and forth what i said to john what john said to me so he was like i can't can't wait for you guys to meet her like she I know I'm gonna marry her I know it he said everything I wanted to hear love bombing 101 this man wrote the book so he talked to his brother every day he talked to his friends every day it wasn't until he got kicked out of my house in June of 2021 that I found out every single phone call was made up he was never on the phone you ain't never talked to nobody this man ain't never had nobody how, on speaker phone how she know that though how, nothing how she know it's fake she she reveals that she ended up talking to um a couple of his family members that she had reached out to after she started doing some digging and investigating. But he he hasn't mm. spoke to his brother since 2015 when their mom died. Uh, he actually don't have no friends is what she said. And then she goes on to say about the job that he lied about. He told me when I first met him that he was a VP at his company. He was looking to buy a house. His job was VP of a major condiment company. It is fair to note he paid every bill. He gave me spending money. Truth is, he was a tip. So he would call me and what? he would a pretend a to reprimand employees who couldn't see that he had a Bluetooth thing in his ear. He would <laughs> pretend to take phone calls from the company president who needed his help on something. But he was a temp. He was a temp forklift driver. There's nothing wrong with a forklift driver, but he was pretending to be a VP. So she had got pregnant, right? And then they had a miscarriage. Now, when she went to the hospital, she called him. Uh, she had the people call him or whatever, and he acted like his assistant. And, you know, now he's a forklift driver, and he's also a temp, but he acted like he was the CEO of his own company. He answered the phone acting like the assistant, like, oh, he can't make it in right now. That's because he really couldn't leave work. What? The whole time, yeah. He, his baby was about to be born, but he couldn't leave work. No, the baby was gone. Oh. It was miscarriage. You oh. know what I mean? So, I hear, uh, this is good. Yeah. Is this the story? No, it's more. It's more. Yeah, it's like more, more. So just wait. All right. So <laughs> we actually, 
he actually, uh, social media users, they found an the ex-husband and they revealed his identity and he shared his own video and he addressed the story being told. Um, play number four. I'm going to address the rumor, Risa Tisa, ex-wife, who straight line to y'all. It's, um, it's sad because it's completely false. Of everything. <laughs> More to the point, I haven't decided who I'm going to talk to exactly or go on whose page or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know that she lied about everything. Follow her. Don't follow her. That's up to you. All that stuff she said, it's complete lies. What is going on here? Yo, he said they went to marriage counseling and it didn't work and we broke up. He said he left her and he said, uh, stop lying to these people before I tell them the real reason. You cheated. I caught you in the house with Bradley. Who's Bradley? Yeah, I don't know, yo. I don't know, but that, that's, that's the story. This is trapped in the closet 2024. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I hear a lot of big back behavior. Does she have a big back? She do She do give Sheila that was driving up the mountain. Okay, okay. Yeah, she, she Sheila did. was beautiful, though. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. no, no. You talked about the big back, yeah, not the, big the face. Back. Yeah, she, you're right, you're she's right. cool. What's Cause, your cause, thing with big backs? No, recently? I'm just saying, because in a situation like this, some of you big backs, y'all got to stop being so thirsty for a man. There's a man out there for you, okay? This woman believed all of this because she wanted to believe all of this. Big back belief? Mm -hmm. Isn't like everybody else's belief. Mm -hmm. Okay, she said it herself. He mm -hmm. said everything I wanted to hear. Yeah. She wanted to believe whatever was coming out of his mouth because she wanted a man so bad. And then I seen him and he actually looked like her. But what's interesting what? is he had a he, big back too. They, no, no, no. Oh. I couldn't see his back. Okay. I, we only saw hers because she was sitting in the car for the whole time she was talking. Okay. Um, sun up to sundown. It's, it's a fifty-two part series on TikTok. That is fifty-two. Fifty-two. Parts? TikTok got yep. parts. I I don't know. We we seen Shalon Jackson, Monique's son. He did. 20 Dang. of them. So she Jeez. did 52. Okay, maybe I don't believe this story then. His ex-wife. No, that's crazy because his ex-wife came out. He was married before ex-wife and said the same thing happened to her. Yup. So he just. That's and what he, he does. And he from Philly, yo. Really? Yeah. They met in Georgia, but he from Philly. Where's she from? I don't know. She just be in a car. I don't know where she's she from, but in car. <laughs> I don't know yet. How big is she? Because you said the tire blew oh, up. Boy. You know how Sheila was. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. She, you know, she don't fit in the frame. Like, you can see, like, she oh, got right. the. It got don't you. matter how she big her back is. No, no it, it don't. It don't. No, big, no it and does, because this is big back behavior. She was, they be she was thirsty for men. And this is also a good Tubi movie. Yeah. She Somebody get these 52 parts to transcribe. Pretty girl. Yeah, she is a pretty girl. Well, salute to her. Yeah, but yeah, you know, so. but it this story like she was is very thirsty. Yeah, absolutely, and the story is everywhere. So I, I had to cover it, and it's a little, it's a little funny because like Haynes still, there's no crime involved. He didn't steal any money from her. He didn't like nothing. I thought it was gonna be like a big ending, like oh he stole from me. He nothing. One of the producers just texted us and said he also has a big back. Oh my god! <laughs> so this is big back <laughs> behavior all across the board, huh? Yo, hey, I don't even know why I read that. I don't even know why I read that. Wow. I didn't have to read that. I didn't have to read that. <laughs> wow. We gonna get up here for an interview, both of them? <laughs> if we got room. <laughs> <laughs> I can see I the Tubi movie now, though. The Big Back Theory. Let's go. The Big Back Theory. Let's go. Let's the make this. The Big Back Theory. Let's make this, <laughs> Let's make this right now. Mm. All right. Well, that is just with the mess. Mm -hmm. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.